Um, I don't usually do a live video uh, for a prayer request. I usually just post them. But um, as many of you know, the 17th of June was the one year anniversary for when my oldest son passed away, Justin. He would have been 35 this year, but he passed at 34. And when he was 14, he moved to Austin to go live with his dad. Up until then, he'd always been with me, and Terry and I separated when Justin was three. Okay, not sure how much of that had actually recorded, so I'm going to start over. Hey, praying warriors, family, friends, fellow brother and sisters in Christ. I don't normally do a live video for a prayer request. I usually just post them. Um, but this one kind of hit home personal because, as you know, June 17th was the one-year anniversary for when my oldest son passed away. Uh, he would have been 35 this year if he was 34 when he passed. Um, when Justin was 14, he went to go live with his dad in Austin. So basically for the last 20 years, Terry, uh, Justin has been living with his dad. And so that gave him and his dad to get a chance to get good and close. I mean, Terry and I split when Justin was three. And so Terry would only see Justin up until the age of 14, just like at Christmas and in summer break. I would fly him to, to Austin for the summer. And, and then, of course, sometimes, you know, he'd get to go there for this Christmas break, depending on if I had the money for the plane ticket or not. Anyway. So for the last 20 years, Terry's gotten to get really close. And Justin was Terry's only child. He never had any other children. He never remarried after he and I, you know, divorced. And Terry just sent me a message. I mean, we've, we've talked, you know, but today, just now, he sent me a text message that says, The day has since passed, and I'm still walking around in circles. Can't remember what I started out to do keep forgetting what I didn't do. I feel so lost. Hey, brother. How you doing? And that just broke my heart for him. I mean, of course, I'm grieving too, and, and I know many people have lost a loved one, especially this time, day and age with the COVID-19. Um, uh, losing a child, even if they're an adult child, is, is a nightmare that I would never wish on anyone. So, I'm not asking for prayer for myself. I'm asking prayer for Terry, his father, because he's really not taking this well. I mean, he's just absolutely 100% lost because Justin was his whole world. He was his only child. I mean, I, I have three other children. I'm, I'm blessed in that respect. But this was his only child. And, you know, Justin was special needs, so he was a handful to deal with, you know. But that thank you brother god bless you but that that kept terry's life have it, it, for terry it gave a meaning and it was through my son that terry started going to church because i remember asking justin several years ago if he went to church because he would cuss yeah but he's an adult you know but I, he would cuss and i tell him i don't like hearing that kind of language Please don't talk like that when you're talking to your mama. And he's like, why not? And I said, because Jesus doesn't like it. We shouldn't talk that way. I said, Do, does your dad take you to church? And he goes, no, but I wish he would. Well, it just so happens not only did Terry start going to church and Justin got his wish of going to church, but Terry uh, is now on fire for God. In fact... Terry's been more of a, he's, he's the one that's been ministering to me to help me get through this rough time, you know, and, and he just always knew the exact words to say, and it was, it was actually wonderful, and, you know, I messaged him back, I'm not as eloquent with the words as he is, I told him, I'm so, so sorry, my heart breaks for you, and then I prayed, I said, Lord, please bring my brother peace in comfort as he and I you know both need but Terry really needs your arms around him Lord and then I told him I'd have my praying warriors praying for him 
So I just ask that you can pray for him uh, to help him to have comfort and peace and to, to know that God's with him and that he's holding him while he's grieving the loss of our child. Um, there are lots of people that are hurting in this world. We're not the only ones. That we're not the only ones that lost a child or a loved one recently. Uh, there's a lot of people that need prayer in Pakistan. Absolutely, uh, Africa is like is is like bracing for a third round of these locusts. Uh, and there's a lot of conflict going on in the Middle East, and Christians are like being slaughtered. It's, it's terrible. And my brother David here, he's in Pakistan, and he has a, a wonderful ministry that he goes around and he ministers the Word of God. He feeds them food, and then he feeds them spiritual food, or he feeds them spiritual food and then feeds them food food. And I, I, I know one video you posted, brother, it was, um, I saw a pile of shoes there. So I guess you bring clothes and shoes for them too, and I guess living in the desert, you probably just wear a lot of sandals. I would think, because I know when I was stationed in the desert here in the United States, out at uh, uh, in New Mexico, we had to wear combat boots though, because I was in the service, but I would have given anything to have worn sandals, because between that hot sand and that hot desert heat, you don't want shoes on your feet. But you can't go barefoot, because the sand's too hot. But just keep our brothers and sisters lifted up in, in Pakistan, and Iran, and Iraq, and Saudi, and China, and Japan and South Korea and even in North Korea all around the world the, the persecution on Christians is getting worse we here in the United States do not know what persecution means and rather we, we don't even know what it is I mean here they might make us not get to go to church or they might say a bad thing to us but there's folks that we need to keep in our prayers that really, really are out there facing death every day. And see, how did Jesus put it, brother? We're a sheep all day long. We're a sheep to the slaughter because, you know, out there, they'll just kill you. They won't mock you or, or laugh at you or, or uh, uh, you know, try to get into debate with you. If they don't like what you're saying, they will just kill you. I mean, it's just that simple. And I know that in, in China, the Christians had to memorize the Bible because a lot of them memorized the Bible because they were burning their churches and either imprisoning them or killing them or both, uh, you know, whenever they would, if, if the church wasn't, um, I don't know if, if it wasn't, they weren't registered with the Chinese authority or, or what it is, but either way. So they said that they memorized God's word because they can't take it out of their heart. That's a lot of memorizing. I don't know that I could do that. But I think that's awesome that they can. But we, as believers, know it's only going to get worse. And we need to stand united. Just as in the day of Pentecost, we need to be of one mind and one accord. And that's keeping our eye on the prize, standing strong for Jesus, and, and trying to reach as many people like my brother David does. Even in the face of death, he does it. Uh, tries to reach as many people as he can to bring him to the to the knowledge of Jesus amen but this didn't I didn't mean for this to turn into a ministry video my screen went black like a long time ago so I hope this is recording I, I usually do these on my camera on my phone on my computer because for some reason Facebook doesn't like me doing these videos it always messes it up so it's okay Satan's a liar Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Brother, I believe it's probably daytime where you're at. It's it's like almost midnight here. Uh, thank you for, for watching. You're awesome. Uh, may God bless you and bless everything you put your hands to. And as soon as I can, probably Monday, I'll send you some more to help with that ministry. Okay. Everyone, have a blessed night, blessed day, whatever may apply. Just I asked you to leave, you know, just to live Terry as well. Just add them to your list of things that you pray for when you pray. I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.